Sup guys, 10 Korsh here and today we have the new event in the 8th Arena, Disasters Emergence. What's special about this event and how does it work? What are the rewards? Let's go over it and figure out. Well, from what I can see here, it's uh, really close to the one that we had over here in the Glorious Spectacular, where you had to do those puzzle thingies, so it's kind of the same thing. In that way that you have to unlock this picture over here, but in order to unlock it you need to draw it and in order to draw it you need that feather, magical feather. How do you get it? You go to the resource acquisition and bam, we are in the bounty board and now we have the bounties that you have to do that will give you those feathers. Quill of time. New quests will be added in 11 hours, so daily you will get new quests and there are some other quests as well that will give you diamonds and uh, elite hero soul stone so it's not that bad it's actually pretty good let's see can we do the auto dispatch here no we gotta do it manually so you need specific hero in order to do this quest not just random hero but you need dispatch ascended tier lor to receive additional reward chest do we have him no we have the normal one can we dispatch him we can dispatch him. All right, the ascended one will give us the additional chest over there, I guess. Let's see, do we have the same here? Yeah. Dispatch ascended Cecilia to receive an additional reward chest. So, uh, what do we have in that reward chest? That's a bounty hunter's guild uh, bonus that will randomly give us 100, 200, and 500 diamonds. I like this type of stuff in the bounty board. I hope it will stay here for a while and we need to send it to Celia to get it. We don't have that, so yeah, we're not getting the bonus things. Lucius. We have Lucius ascended. So this time, for this uh, quest, we will get the additional chest. So that's pretty interesting, guys. You will get this chest icon on the bounty board quest that will give you the bonus reward. But other than that, if you don't have the right hero, another Elwar right here, don't have him but we have the normal one you can't use mercs here you gotta use your own heroes and sadly that's the only way to get it i wonder if the same thing will be here in the normal bounty board sooner or later on like that might be a thing and i'm curious how it will play out what is this we got the new undertake quest screen i think i don't remember seeing it before so now uh you will see the difficulty level here with the stars and uh, the rewards and the heroes that you will use basically the same stuff but it will give you more info on what's happening there we go easy peasy uh here with the bounty board for the team bounty it's kind of the same thing so can you select heroes here no they're automatically select if you do the auto and uh the rewards will be here so you can see what's happening let's see if this stuff will be different no, the normal run, like if you normally want to use the heroes, will be the same as before, so nothing will change. May, uh, feel free to dispatch your guys, no problem. So, right, I'm really curious if that will be the case for the long term thing. Like, do they want to introduce the additional chests? Do they want to introduce additional bounty board? Will we see this thing in the future? I really want that this would be a thing i want to hear your opinion as well so I'll write about it in the comments but yeah basically when this quest will be completed you will get some of those quills you can use those here and you will draw one of the rewards and open the part of this picture overall you will need to unlock seven of those things so i guess event lasts for 13 days and you will be able to get enough quills during that time because we got two today already so it's easy as for the rewards for the opening of the parts of the parchment, you will get some chests with XP, dust and gold and uh, the fa faction summon scrolls. Nothing really crazy here and 1000 diamonds. So the rewards here, in my opinion, are worse than we had in the um, last event like this. But overall, after you will finish everything, you will get to watch a video and that video will get you 10 time emblems, which is pretty nice. And once again, I recommend you guys to save those up for now. Don't spend them on any uh, Awakened Heroes because Awakened Heroes are really, really hard to get for the free-to-play guys. If you are paid to win, you don't need those advice because you know what you're doing, probably. If not, think about it. <laughs> so when we will complete this event, that will take a while. Uh, we will get, what, uh, 4, 8 faction summon scrolls, 6 chests with dust, XP and gold, uh, 24 hours each and for gold we have 4 of those, and 1000 diamonds and 10 emblem cards. I don't really know what else to tell about this event, but we can calculate the value, which will be interesting to see how much is the value of all the rewards, 
Let's see, I already did this. Uh, let me actually move this on this screen. There we go, so the value of diamonds is 1000 diamonds, the faction emblems uh, 1.9k, 4 time emblems that's 5500 each, and for the dust hours we have 1.8, so overall we get 9700 diamonds value for this event, which is well about 10k diamonds right here for basically just doing the additional quests. Moreover, um, if we will try to add the bounty board rewards for this event, that will be even more. So 500 diamonds is valued for 500 diamonds. For the purple shards, 20 of those are valued for 624 diamonds. So overall per day, we will also get about 1k diamonds worth of rewards for day one i'm not sure how it will be for other days because we have no idea so yeah you can expect at least 12 days 13 days maybe I, i'm not sure how long it will last here it says 13 days uh times 1000 so 13 more thousands rewards from the bounty board if you don't have the good heroes if you have the good heroes that's additional chest with additional diamonds which will be even more so overall the rewards for this event will be i don't know let's say we got uh, 10k just from the rewards then we have those bounty board quests that will add 1k so that's uh, 10 for example let's be about 10 so it's already uh 20 000 diamonds plus if you have really good uh, heroes if you build them up to ascend the tier then it will be let's say on average 200 each i don't know the exact chances and rates but 200 sounds nice for each quest and if all of the heroes are ascended that will be 800 per day for four quests so that's additional 10k so overall the value of this event will be if you are fully maxed out about 30 key diamonds and in my opinion like that's pretty cool i like the chest thingy that uh, motivates you to get more ascended tier heroes that you don't really need like if we'll get rigby here from uh lightberry heroes and most people don't build him at all you will miss on this reward so that give you a small motivation to build the heroes that you don't release i still wonder if we will get only light bears here maybe it will be for other perfections a bit later i don't know but so far for all four quests we got only light bears so yeah it's up to your light bear team <laughs> and yeah obviously it doesn't worth to build your light bear team just for this event that's for sure but if you have those guys built up that's already a good way to get a little bit extra here and a small tip guys that i've just figured out right now so for example we could use um ascended elward for the first quest with 500 diamonds and for one of the quills and if you have that guy uh make sure to do one quest and then go for another so you will be guaranteed to get that additional chest that's obvious thing but you might go out to click everything and miss that additional reward with diamonds so that will be really sad other than that the bounty board uh, quest over here is pretty cool i like that i like that new design i like the fact that you get better rewards here i wonder if we will get it permanent at some point that will be really nice to see so yeah guys let me know in the comments what do you think about this event if you like it or not what do you think about the new bounty board system do you want it introduced for a longer period of time other than the event or you kind of think that it's too much. I honestly think it's a good idea because more free rewards for free players and motivation to build ascended tier heroes is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think about uh, anything else if you have any other thoughts. So why the hell not? I read all the comments all the time and I'm really, really happy when you write something over there. While we go into the comments though, don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends and give this subscribe uh, to the channel and make sure to hit the bell button so you won't miss any new videos. Check the pinned comment and the video description for additional links. We have a lot of links over there. Some of those will be really cool for you. Some of them will be cringy for me if you will get there, but uh, all of those are there and I would appreciate you guys following each of those. Join the Discord, that will be really nice. Uh, playlists with more AFK Arena videos, guides, events and everything, they're all there. Then we have the social media, so I'm actually making shorts from time to time on Facebook, uh, top TikTok and Instagram even. So you might find something cool over there as well. And yeah guys, I think that's about it for now. Thank you very much for watching, appreciate that a lot. Have a good one guys. Stan Kosh, out. Bye.